Alright, here we go. I'd say I'd see you out there, but man, sometimes when there's 30 people here, I never even pass anybody. <laughs> see you, man. Have fun. All right, there's three e-bike segments out here. One of them, I'm like number eight. The rest of them, I'm number one. So we're gonna come out here. I've never tried this one. So, Oh god. These fucking leaves are like trail lubricant. Oh leaves, leaves, killing me leaves. I don't know where this thing uh Starts and stops, so I guess I just gotta I know it was like from the top to the bottom so I do know uh, I do know that I don't like this front tire I got in Kansas City it's uh, not aggressive enough for this loose leafy shit. I'm trying to remember, there is a tree on this trail that almost every single time I go skidding off the trail, might be this one, right at it. That looked like it, but. Uh, all right, I need to get something good back on the front of this thing. Who's got suggestions? Anybody? Nice, aggressive. We got a lot of sandy, loose, tiny gravel on the trails around here. Now add the leaves. This is all they had when I found the hole in my sidewall. So, that's what's been on here for the past two weeks. Oh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Don't know where it starts, but I know it started at the top of a hill, but there seems to be several of those. I know the trail, but I almost feel like I should be pre-riding it with all these leaves. At least if I try to go at a decent clip on the whole trail down, it'll at least give me like a uh, what do you call that? Some sort of a indicator, a starting point, I guess. 
say okay cruise down it not super fast but kept going and this is my time oh See, it hasn't rained in a month. So everything under these leaves is about as slippery as the leaves themselves. And then you put leaves on top of slippery and the leaves are slippery. Then you end up with super duper slippery that's not good holy shit man my back tire fucked up too I feel like I'm s slip slide no way I don't remember that song it's like from the 70s but I remember slip sliding away you know the oh you know the nearer nearer the destination the more you slip slide away is that my terrible singing for the uh, for the run I looked at this thing earlier and I really thought I knew where it started. However, as usual, when people follow me, they end up not knowing where the hell they are. Me included. And then when I'm out here by myself without anybody to say, where the hell are you going? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I really, really don't know where I am then. They're lost. I'm lost. Everybody's lost. I actually think it's over. But, hey, does anybody watching this, if somebody watches this, know how to get the uh get your garmin to tell you uh when a segment's coming up i've got segments enabled i've got them switched to strava i've got the strava segments favorited i've done every suggestion from gopro not gopro garmin Java and uh, and, and yeah, you know, just anybody like on the internet done it all. It's done me no damn good. bad when you gotta put a foot down it's gotta be about it right they haven't added these maps to all trails yet so you really don't know where you're going even worse I get lost when I do know where I'm going. Right here it's got me riding through the middle of nowhere.
Oh man. Normally when I'm going for a KOM, I throw this puppy in turbo. I didn't do that. Nope, this is the one. <laughs> That's the tree right there. If the leaves weren't there, you'd probably see like five other skid marks in the dirt. Hopefully a bunch of people come and ride over the next couple weeks and blast these damn leaves off the trail or we get some rain and bash them into the dirt. That'd do something. Of course I could probably start with good tires. My back tire is like, it went on right before I went to Killington. That was what, August? So I guess it's been on there a lot longer than I thought. Huh. I was thinking like a month and a half. It's been like three months. With a lot of hard riding. Right? Killington. Bentonville. Um, run after run. Run after run down uh, the Gravity is King uh, segment coming down coming down the hill counterclockwise um, on Horse King which involves a lot of heartbreaking. Hey, what, what happened there? I got a freaking, a leaf and a cobweb? That cobweb's probably straight across the uh, lens, if I had to guess. Yeah, something's telling me that my attempts to shave one more second off of Gravity is King would probably be met with absolute death with all these leaves. Because <coughs> that's almost an 18 mile an hour rip down that whole thing. Like average is like 17.6. you're flying for well you're flying for a minute and 15 seconds because that's what the KOM is right now but then there's a and that's me don't mean to brag but I will but uh I'm at 115 another guy's at 116 another one's at 117 another one's at 118 I used to have the lead by seven seconds and then it got stolen from me by the guy that got the uh, oh, what was it, the 116, I was at 117, he got 116, I came out, fucking wide ass open and uh, ended up at 115. No, 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 It was a couple seconds or less, or more. Because I got that. Someone got 122. And then I got 115. I was like, holy shit. That's a seven second gap. That's fucking great. And then I see one day, the 116, the 117, the 180. I was like, oh, this sucks. I've got one second on them now with my 115 and uh, you know just uh, I don't like it there's no buffer 
if that guy <laughs> I think I still remain KOM even if he ties me but look that that is going to be hard to beat but I'm going to give it a shot but conservatively if the uh, see this trail looks like it might be ridden a little more often this is a really popular trail yeah A little bit. I, I think this trail probably gets rode the most because it takes you. The hell is this called? Armadillo Express or Armadillo Run? Whatever. Um, yeah, this takes you to Horse King, and everybody loves Horse King. Got a little big boulder rock drop really tame but it's cool and it runs right alongside a uh, rock garden and then you go down one of those two there is a reach around oops I mean a uh, a go around if you don't want to do either of those then you come around and there's a big rock drop and again, I'm not saying the drop is big, but it's it's a big rock. It's kind of built into the trail. But there's probably more trail to the side of it than the width of the rock. So if you're not into that type of thing, eh, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure of this. If nothing else, at least the leaves will probably keep others from being successful. You know, I've never been like a competitive guy. I don't give a shit if I want to lose. I'm just trying to have some fun. Stay healthy, all that shit. But there's something about once you get a KOM, like whether you know about it or you're trying it, you know, you just want to try or you're just riding and then when you save your ride, it pops up and says, hey, you got the KOM, and you didn't even know there was a segment on that route. There's something about once you have it, or once I have it, that uh, you feel the need to always keep it. I do. Oh yeah, lots of... I think people go down this so fast it blows the leaves out of the way. In fact, I know that happens because I have a uh, video with a GoPro on a tree and both of the views of me going down is followed by a bunch of leaves blowing out behind me off the sides of the trails. It's really kind of cool looking. I liked it.
that's definitely not a 115 run but i think it's probably better than the i came out here not really trying for it the other day it was the first time back here after being out of town i saw the leaves so i just kind of took it easy still ended up with a 120 it's not bad but we'll see I feel like this one was a little faster than that 120, but it ain't. It ain't making that oh, 114 I've been chasing since whew, I think September. Yeah, I think September 18th or 20th I got that thing. At one minute 15. I don't uh I don't know. It, it might be springtime. We need a little moisture in the trail. You know you not like a nice hard trail, but you also like some grip. It hasn't rained in like literally a month. So everything's turning to powder. And it's like worse than the sand. When we were in Bentonville last week, everything was just a, a dust bowl. They had been like three or four, three or four weeks since they had any rain. Everything, our, our bikes, er ho -ho! <sighs> gotta love these trails that disappear in the uh, fall. Huh. At least I would have had a soft landing, right? Maybe. All right, so this comes back around to the cut through. That'll take you to River Bluff Loop. You can cut through up here and you can go right or left. I think I usually prefer to stay on the upper part of the trail, which means you'd go left. I think it's just like a little more varied terrain. I feel like there's more like uh, ravines and stuff you get to dip through. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this as one video probably. So you'll have Snake Creek counterclockwise, uh, Armadillo Run counterclockwise to the halfway point, more or less. The halfway point, that's where you get on Horace King. Uh, this is where you'd cut over onto River Bluff. This continues up to uh, up to the rock garden I just told you about. So we'll just we'll just let this thing run. So we'll do uh, all of Snake Creek and end up doing all of Horse King. And even though it's in two different sections, two halves, we'll uh, we'll have Armadillo Run knocked out too. So, and these are, ah, I guess that's kind of a, a nice mix for people to see because these trails have been out here for about five years now, but these are new this past spring. So there's probably a lot of people familiar with Moore's Bridge Park that still haven't been out here to ride the trails. And these, these are the three new trails. 
Man, how do those... You think as dry and crackly as these freaking leaves are, you'd think they'd like get pulled out. It almost makes you want to not run a uh, fender in the fall. And as dry as it's been, that'd be fine. Whenever I'm editing one of these videos, and it's got a lot of colorful commentary in it, I never know. Do you run music low? Low in the mix, behind the vocal, behind the talking? Or you just kind of, you know, bring it up and bring it down during the, uh, Times you're not actually talking like breaking it up I don't know but we'll figure it out I might do one one way I might do the uh... I thought I saw something on that trail This is a uh, another e-bike segment right here, but I'm not worried about it today. Hey, hey. Just don't run in front of me, please. Run anywhere you want. I think my head lost weight. My helmet feels very loose and my uh, it keeps falling down from the weight of the GoPro. That normally does not happen. I've yet to find the perfect GoPro mount in the perfect position. The chest one's okay, but like you can't look this way, look that way, you know, you you lose a lot of that, uh, that perspective. All right, we're back on Armadillo Run. This will take us back up to the parking lot. And I think this is all I'm going to do today because I'd like to make it down to Standing Boy tomorrow. Standing boy is awesome. Uh, my cousin when we were kids, I had a cousin, Danny, and he'd always say, decent. See like a nice car, you go, decent. I think that was a Vermont thing. Never really heard it down in Connecticut where I grew up. 
And it didn't just mean it was decent. <laughs> Man, that fucker was nice. Whoa! Damn, did I forget to ride? Or are these trails really, really this damn slippery? I think it's definitely a combo between sand, dust, dirt, and dry, crackly leaves. What do you think is, uh, what do you think is more slippery in a turn? A bunch of bone dry leaves? Or a bunch of wet leaves. I bet a lot of that has to do with how long the leaves have been wet. I think if they just got a little sprinkle on them 10 minutes ago, they might be better than dry. But if they're all wet and slimy, like they've been sitting there festering for a few days, all sloppy and shiny and slippery, I bet that's worse than this dry shit. I feel like I need to go home and do some uh, tire shopping. Those cryptotals or whatever the hell Continental's calling them, they look freaking badass, but I don't think I've found any reviews on them other than Continental's own reviews <laughs> or something from like uh, somebody they sponsor. I think that was the last one I saw was, hey, I won the Jupiter World Cup with uh, these Continentals on here. Maybe you could too. No. No, I couldn't. I really liked the Michelin E-Wilds that I had a while back, but then they hit a shortage where you couldn't get them. That's how I ended up with the Maxis. But the, um, the E-Wilds, the spikes on the sides, the outer spikes on the uh, front tire, I mean, you really had to get the bike leg like, leaning to dig in like that, or but digging enough like that, you know, with those. So, I don't know. I read something about them uh, tweaking the design not long after they came out with them, so who knows. So there you had it. You had uh, Snake Creek counterclockwise, then you got first half of Horse King. No, first half of uh, Armadillo to Horace King. Totally counterclockwise around Horace King. Back up to where we left off on uh, Armadillo Run. And then uh, back out to the parking lot. So that was all three new trails. In case you haven't seen them, there they are. <laughs> 